13 souls came to the Lord asking for prayers of forgiveness and, and strength this week. We rejoiced in that, didn't we? Why did it have to do that? Because sin separates us from God. But some Christians seem to have the idea, just as this doctrine teaches, that because I've been in this baptistry, then I can do whatever I want, and it's okay. God will forgive me. Well, you, when you sin, God will forgive you if you truly repent. But some Christians want to use that for a license to sin. Now, friends, if you're involved in a sin, and whatever the sin might be, it really doesn't matter. And you say, well, I'm sorry, God, and I repent of that. But you're not truly having godly sorrow. You're just asking God to forgive you because you're sorry you got caught. That's not repentance. And if you continually do that sin time and time and time again purposely, thinking, well, I'll pray later and God will forgive me, then you're actually following this doctrine. You see, when we sin, we're to repent of that and change. Repentance is a complete turnaround from what we're doing. And so we can't say, well, I know God will forgive me, so I'll just do it this time. Because then tomorrow we're going to want to do it again, and again, and again, and again. And friends, that's not repentance. And God will forgive us. Now this doctrine of Calvinism, and we're going to look at the other aspects of it in weeks to come. But friends, as we look at this doctrine, we need to understand that Calvinism is a man-made doctrine that's going to cause people to lose their souls. Now we want to bring souls to Christ. So we need to know something about what they believe and why they believe. It's not enough just to say, well, they don't know what they're talking about. Well, they, some of them may know what they're talking about, but we need to know what we're talking about. Now, if you're here, you're not a member of the body of Christ. Maybe you need to study God's Word. That's what we need to do is go to the Word of God, see what it says. Not what Riley says or somebody else says, but what does the Bible say? The Bible teaches that we must believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. We have to repent of our sins and confess His name before men and be baptized for remission of our sins. We need to study. We need to study. To understand what to do, you need to obey it while time and opportunity is yours. But as a child of God, I need to realize that if I've got sin in my life, I've got to repent of that, and I've got to come back to God and ask His forgiveness. Well, I believe God's forgiven me, Riley. I sinned. God forgave me. Well, that's good. But you know what? If I brought shame upon the body of Christ for the things that I've been doing, the way I've been living my life, the church needs to know that. That I repent. The church needs to know it and pray for us and help us so we can not be tempted to do those things again. Sometimes that's hard to do. Sometimes Christ keeps Christians from doing what they know they need. Now, there are those who think, well, I can just come in the door, sit down, and everything's okay. There's no problem. Everything's just like it always was. Well, no. If I'm a wayward child of God, I've got to come home. If you're here tonight and find yourself in that situation, I encourage you to decide. Come. We'll pray with you for it. Those need to respond. Come. We stand in the same. Have you been to Jesus?